Now let's look at BCl3. Boron has three valence electrons plus three times seven from the chlorine, so we get a total of 24 electrons. So we have boron in the middle and our three chlorines. We've used six electrons. Now we can start filling in our octets around the chlorine atoms. And at this point, we have used our 24 electrons. And we'll actually see that boron is really unlikely to form an octet. It's a lot of times actually going to be our exception, our incomplete octet. Uh, while chlorine is not as selfish as fluorine and potentially could form a double bond, boron tends to prefer not to have that complete octet. And so what we see here is we've got our three groups around our central atom. So we have AX3 as our general form. And so we have trigonal planar for our electron geometry and for our molecular geometry we also have trigonal planar because we have no non-bonding groups. If you were to have drawn this with a double bond it still wouldn't have changed anything about your geometry. You still would have three groups around your central atom. It just means that one of them would have been a double bond. So that doesn't affect your geometry. It only affects the actual Lewis structure.